Hey friends, it's Brian here and it's time for a product teardown review on why did it fail. So today we're looking at a Moultrie Mobile Edge camera, a dead one, that coincidentally there is no warranty. The warranty's shit. They'll promise you uh, some percentage off coupon and then they send you a lower one. So crap support, crap warranty, but hey, it was cheap. So don't, um, don't do what caused, caused this one to die. It's not really waterproof. So, my camera adjusted here. This can be a one take video. There we go. So to get this open, you need to take the screws out of here, here, here. And then there's one here and one here. And then, you can, and I've of course already taken these apart, so then the front comes off and you're left with a, um, where am I stuck on? You know what, this is going in the trash anyway, because it's, it's toast. Uh, what am I stuck on? Oh, there was one screw. So, and again, it, it just doesn't matter. So. The problem is that it has a microphone, and the microphone is open to the case, and so if for some reason you have to install it upside down, which I did, water will leak in through this and promptly ruin the motherboard. And, um, you know, had they made this casting a little differently so this was not open to the rest of the case, this camera would still be out earning its keep. Um, so they say this is SIMless, and that's that's a lie. That's a SIM card right there. So it is has a built-in SIM. And then um, they're using just a standard little um, memory. Uh, so that's, that's the infrared or the illumination unit. Again, doesn't really matter at this point. Uh, made in China, as if there was ever a doubt. Let's see whose SIM card they're using. Let me get something to pry that out of there. And the interesting thing is, um, when I cornered them, they said, oh no, it it's, doesn't say anywhere that it's waterproof. Wow, let's see who. Oh, it doesn't say anything on here. So my guess is you could take this SIM card and stick it in something else and pay them $9.99 and it would um, send you data. Hmm, who knows? Um, but yeah, I, I, suspect, uh, I suspect they don't have the ESID bound to the SIM card in whatever system they're using. Um, so, you know, again, lots of corrosion. That's the cause of death on this camera. Um, behind the buttons are a little tiny switch and then the absolute cheapest surface mount uh, button you could use. This is why it's hard to push. Four surface mount LEDs. Um, that is probably the PIR sensor. So... Yeah, whatever. I mean, you know, if you're going to make a $79 camera, this is what it's going to look like. Uh, I can't tell whose camera they're using, um, but we will be able to see in a minute here. Uh, I'm going to undo the screws on the back of it by prying on it. Again, this is a teardown. There's no salvaging this, so I'm not worried about, like, doing really horribly mean things. And this is your programming interface, so if you wanted to talk to it, that's how you would do it. So that's the camera sensor there. Um, I don't know. It doesn't say what it is. Yeah, it doesn't say. Um, 
And it might say, and it might just be too tiny for me to read, but you know, that's actually your CCD sensor right there. Um, so anyway, these are not waterproof. Do not take them apart. It does have a SIM card. Um, memory is probably, let's just disconnect the battery pack. Um, they're using a system on chip here, so memory is probably built into that. Um, has an MEID here. So anyway, um, that is, you know, so these are not waterproof. Do not mount it upside down because it will fry it. I suspect they're going to wind up with some warranty claims because you're going to get moisture gets in here and condenses and they did not harden the circuit board, which is going to cause it to fail. So, um, all in all, um, that's a fatal design flaw in this camera. And had they isolated this or at least gooed it in with some plastic, uh, some of this rubber shit, uh, or hot snot as we call it, that wouldn't have happened. And we would not be doing this video today because this camera would be out earning its keep. So thanks for watching. Um, if you are going to buy an edge camera or anything else from Moultrie, just understand they cut every corner they can in in order to produce product at this price point. And, um, uh, you know, treat it accordingly and, you know, understand why it fails when it does.